Hey everyone, it's Cisco Cracker again, aka Coop. I'm pretty damn excited because we just had the first firing of the engine with no bubbler. So just moments ago, we were able to initialize this box, which is, consists of uh, two Tensies. There's two Tensies there, and then a Raspberry Pi 2 with another board on top to fire um, the injector with. I think those are just some couple of FETs. This little board, all it's doing for us is uh, 12 volt to 5 volt, so we can have a 5 volt source. Teensies are running on 3.3 volts. Uh, one box, one, one Teensy, uh, this is all one big project box here, this, this guy is. Um, but one Teensy is running the fuel injector um, to spray uh, how many times a second and how wide a spray per spray time. Um, the other one is running the fumes. So uh, we're calling it running of the fumes. What it's doing is monitoring the temperature of the fumes box and opening the EGR valve to um, introduce some heat into the box. Uh, I don't have any output on that yet to prove that happened. All I did do, we have this remote, comes down here to this little control box. Top one's frequency, power LED on the right there, and uh, the width. So um, the pulse width is what the bottom knob is. So we're just kind of blindly doing this at the moment uh, without watching the output from the box just so that we can, you know, get a feeling for what does it take to get this thing to fire that injector and um, how much spray do we need to get this thing to start on cold cold vapors. And it's a lot. Uh, it's actually up near the top limit of what I'm allowing this thing to spray at all. Um, which is terrible because it pulls up the fuel that hasn't become vapors yet because it is just cold vapors. Um, but anyhow, well, we're, we're discussing things to do about preheating and all that. So, you know, this is only a problem on the first uh, cold start um, for the day. So uh, my tack works now. Um, I, at least it was moving earlier. I didn't get to watch it after it was fired up and running. I was looking inside the hole on the box to see uh, what kind of spray we were getting, and I seen fuel dripping out of the intake. So... I know we're um, really wasting fuel um, on a cold start, but I, I want to get away from where I don't even waste fuel on cold starts. I want it to be very efficient all the time. So um, I've thought about different things to preheat. A uh, little heat gun here set on the one setting instead of the two setting. Um, and preheated the box a bit, but I don't think that really helped any matters. Uh, I just had to keep turning the fuel up till it finally started. Um, and it does, you know, run smell rich because we got the fuel coming out of the front there. Um, but it's progress. I mean, we're getting somewhere, so um, shouldn't be much longer, and I will have some numbers figured out, some things dialed in. I did just reconnect my um, computer um, on the alternator's output, on the single wire output, so my computer over there should be getting um, tack sense also. So now that I have a tachometer and actually see that part, I know that this Tensi's getting his uh, tack. Um, all right, he's getting he's sensing a, a fuel pulse from the fuel computer that was back over there we were just talking about um so he watches that this guy that does the um vaporizer box for the heat and the fumes up um he does watch tack so he's got a tack input now um and the other guy's got his uh fuel pulse with spray coming from the original computer and then this guy is multiplying you know how many times per second uh, the other one is saying to spray versus what I'm what I'm saying to spray, and I'm cranking that way up and making it spray way more often. Um, and then, of course, the width, and I've got that turned up pretty high now, um, whereas the middle should have been about wherever the middle is of the spray that's coming from the fuel computer. Um, so I may, I may be there a little higher by now. I haven't reset it back to zero to find out. Um, but, yeah, we're making progress. The, the, we did start the motor. Um, it was spraying. It did run. Um, I hated seeing all that fuel flowing out of the front of it, so I killed it. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to go ahead and at least log this initial video. Uh, it's hard to talk over the motor. You know, it's pretty loud, pretty throaty V8. Um, you guys have heard it before. It sounds nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get my laptop hooked up to, um, the Raspberry Pi, which will let me communicate with those Tensies. And I will start getting the data logs off those guys and seeing what the numbers are. Um, that way I can adjust my default numbers that those boxes start up with based off what I'm discovering from turning these knobs. So um, hopefully in a couple of days' time of uh, toying with it, I will have it trimmed out to where it should be, and I should be able to crank the car any time then and run off the single injector. 
Very exciting times. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure and like and subscribe if you like this stuff, and I will uh, keep the videos coming. Um, you know, share it with your friends and whatnot. I'd like to start to see it blow up. I'd like to see some attention come to it. Um, I know in due time it will eventually get the attention I don't want, but um, for now, while this information is still out there for anyone to copy and replicate, um, I'm going to make it available. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.